Hey everyone, this is Deepak and I wanted to do this quick video to talk about something that uh, I have heard as a question from a number of financial advisors that I've been in discussion with uh, in terms of uh, helping them to get clients because that's kind of what I focus on. And one of the question that came today, which also had come before, was, you know, you know, I talk about consistently getting clients and the question was, well, how do you consistently get clients with, with what you do? And the question was like, tell me more about your strategies that makes it consistent. And it's a very good question. In fact, you know, we sometimes take questions like this for granted, but if you really think about, you know, what makes something consistent, it's a good question people are asking. And, and it's also from a business standpoint, um, it's very important to have consistency, right? Because you, you don't want to have the roller coaster ride that we most of the time see in our business, uh, mine being no different. So we all must always thrive to get consistent client. And the, the reason advisors are asking this question is because if you take a step back to see how most advisors are getting clients today, and majority of them are getting clients through traditional methods like cold calling, door knocking, you know, referral, seminar, and things like that. And very few advisors are getting consistent clients from social media. And that's kind of the area where, you know, I focus on and, you know, I run my entire business and my client acquisition process is exactly that. And I have created a very custom tailored process for financial advisors as well. So if you look into those methods that most advisors are using, and they are not consistent, right? Because yes, you can get motivated and you know buy a list of cold calling and you might call, you know, two, three, four hundred people a day. And you might get energetic if you see some you know motivational video on online and so on and so forth. And you might do that for a week, few days, maybe ten days, and something happens in life where you won't be able to do that, right? And I've done that in the past in my other business that I had, one of my first business that me and my wife started. And so we can't do that consistently and the consistency breaks there. If you're talking about referrals, then you can never tell who is going to give you referrals, right? You can, you can even ask them, but there is no consistency, right? It comes and go whenever somebody else want to refer you because referral is really not in your control. So you can't really control that, it's somebody else. And because of that, you see inconsistency. And with all that said in mind, here is why we can get more consistent if you build a client acquisition path to get uh, clients using you know new emerging technology and mediums like social media and let me kind of draw what that looks like and in fact i'm going to do one better in addition to consistency what you also get um, on social media with this type of an approach is control and what I mean by control is if you create a system that allows you to get leads that converts into client and if you have a process to measure that which we need to uh, then you know what your conversions are at each step and it allows you to control because there will be time very quickly in in the process where you don't want to get you know a lot of leads you may not want to get a lot of clients or you might not even want to get any clients because you know you have enough clients you maxed out or whatever so that is important to to have some control so we can not only get consistent system but we can also get a system that is controlled by you where you can control the inputs of a system that controls the the flow of clients that you can get so at a very high level, here's really how you know the strategy works. So this is really the answer I gave to the advisor, but because the question came so many times, I thought it might be useful to do a quick video and do this little whiteboard session that I have. Um, so here's how it works, right? So let's say this is like you know your target market, right? This is really the market uh, that you serve. Now, you know, that's a topic for another discussion about what market means, but you know, let's say this is a group of people uh, that you can help, right? So assume that this is a, a group of you know small business owners, 
right? Because I always like to pick a niche. And let's say you are an advisor that provides, uh, you know, solutions to, you know, small business, you know, owners. So let's say this is the advisor, right? So let's say this is you and these are, you know, a bunch of small business owners. Now, when you go through social media, the good thing with this model is this market is very large, right? Depending upon where you live, um, you're going to have access to thousands of people. So let's take a simple example. Uh, you live in a, in a town and there are, let's say, you know, 100,000 small business owners, right? Or 10,000 still a pretty big number because on an average an advisor just needs about you know 100 200 good clients and they are pretty happy so so you have a large pool of people that you can go and and you are one advisors and let's say there are like few more right but not very important right now for this particular video so now the question that we need to ask is well i have so many people that i can help now, how can I consistently bring people into my world to do that, right? And that's really the question that we are asking. Now, this is where, you know, social media comes very handy. So let's take an example of LinkedIn and Facebook, which are two main channels that I use and they work well when it comes to getting consistent client. And what we do is, you know, with LinkedIn as an example, you have access to these people. You can do different search on these people, create different lists and criteria. And let's say you're inviting about 100 people a day, right? That's typically what you know I would do with my clients. And let's say about 20 people are accepting it. So that means every day you're adding 20 people into you know, your prospect pool, if you will, right? And of the 20, let's say maybe one person is interested, right? And it may not even be that at times. But when this 20 becomes 100 in five days, yeah, chances are you might get two to five people interested in meeting with you. Now, again, there's a whole process to put the right message and all that. And, and that is what we do. Now, the reason it becomes consistent is because we use automation to send out all the connection requests, messaging, and so on and so forth. And because we are putting machines here to do something mundane you can get consistent because this thing runs every day irrespective of whether you are sick your family has some issues you are busy at work or whatever this is happening and that is how you get consistency in this model now you also have control because you can shut down the machine or you can say you know what right now i just want to invite 20 people a day which is kind of where i am right now because i'm not inviting a lot of advisors um, I have connected with a number of them and this is a time for me to kind of slow down on invitation but do a lot more, you know, advancing of people who have showed interest. So you can control now with inputs that we have to the system. And that is really how this particular approach of client acquisition becomes very consistent compared to, you know, any of the models that you have. So essentially using some automation and machine having access to a very large pool of people that you don't have to drive, you don't have to call them, you don't have to do any of that. And you have a platform like LinkedIn, which, you know, makes the cold market warm, right? Because the moment you request connection, people check you out in your profile, they learn about you. And if they feel that, you know, connecting with you would be of value, then they're going to accept your connections. And now, they kind of sort of know you, right? So that is really how they become, you know, warm in your world. So there's a lot of benefit of using this model because you can use a platform like LinkedIn, which is up 24 by seven, which means people can be looking at you 24 by seven. You can automate, you know, some of this invitation and mundane process. You can learn about your prospect. And then there's a lot more stuff that you can do in order to, you know, get more meetings. And I have clients who, have used these strategies and got meeting within 24 hours. You know, some people take more time. You know, it took me a long time to find a process to get clients, but you can get clients, you know, very quick. And I have a number of advisors who have got more than five and 10 meetings per month using this model in the very, very first month. So I hope this was helpful. And, um, you know, I'll probably do another video like this uh, later. So thanks a lot for watching and hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just message me here on LinkedIn. Thank you.